What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Last Days of Warcast. We are Southern California based band, The Last Days of War. I am Mark. I'm Rob. I'm Danny. I'm Feats and Beat. And gentlemen, first on the agenda Shots. Shots. Cheers. Happy birthday, Mark. Belated. Uh huh. Thank you. For 41 years young. You're not the baby of the band, are you? I don't know. Nah, me. I, was say, I, don't think, I don't think I am. That's me. Do you know what Dustin is? Wait, no, that could be a good question. I don't know how old Dustin is. Do you yeah. know how Dustin, Dustin is? Dustin might Dustin might be the baby now that I think about it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I'm 40. Yeah. I, I don't know. That's a good question. I don't know. I don't know. You think we know more about you think we can make a check to this band or something, but no, it's not a bar. Come on in. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, man. Uh, so how are you guys doing? What's going on with you, Rob? What you got going on in Texas? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing's going on. Uh, take that back. Uh, <laughs> we went to a show Saturday, ran into friends. I uh, got to see Adrian performing with Mest. Um, Tony the nice. Love a guy. Put on a good show. Um, it was a pop punk. It's not dead festival, little uh, band uh, called Fanful of Nuns throws this event, I guess, every year and got the bands all down here. Um, the Ataris played and the red jumpsuit apparatus headline. So it's nice. a good show. And then you got to see some old friends, uh, John Sanchez, who I used to be in a band with. Uh, him and his wife came out. We watched the show. It was a good, fun time. Yeah. Oh yeah, man, that's awesome. What about you, Danny? Nothing much. Hanging out, you know, Just working on working on working on music, you know. Yeah. Actually, speaking of that, you want to uh, let them know what Dustin worked on today? Uh, he uh, laid down a uh, solo today for a new song coming up. Ooh. Yeah, that dude, that solo. He killed that. He killed that solo, man. What about, yeah. what, about what about you, Josh? Um, I think the uh, solo came out pretty good, actually, if that's the question you're asking me. Well, that and also, what what <laughs> you got going on, buddy? How you been? I'm uh, doing, doing all right, doing all right. Uh, my son just came back from a sixth grade science camp, so it was nice and quiet at our house for like four days. Nice. But doing okay, hanging in there. Happy belated birthday to you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Yeah, uh, I will say, by the way, last week's episode was great. I very much enjoyed it. It's very weird to watch an episode that I'm not on. It's very weird. <laughs> I'm pretty much but, used uh, to it now at this point. Yeah, but yeah, no. I, you guys fucking Just like, it, oh, hopefully they get it. Hopefully they they don't fuck up. And, you know, yeah. Like, and, and you're a hundred percent. You're a hundred percent right, Rob. When you were saying Mark would know this right now, he's probably yelling at his phone. I totally, I totally <laughs> was yelling at the TV. Like you know, I know exactly what you guys are talking about. The, the here's the the worst part is uh, when you partake. Sometimes you you start to have uh, opened up parts of your memory. When this episode <laughs> or last episode dropped, I was. Uh, partaking and i was like oh, i know exactly what movie this is yeah and it was just oh dude like dummy and then yeah that's funny oh yeah so gentlemen we had a, a single drop on 420 did we pick it myself up or is it, we just littering at this point we just littered we just littered littered everywhere with music <laughs> Uh, we dropped it, and it's being very well received. Thank you guys so much for all the comments and the <laughs> kind words about it, and the music reviews that have happened. Uh, local band Smokeout did a great uh, music review ab about the song, and uh, I thought that that was pretty pretty dope to hear, like the comparisons that he made and the stuff that he liked. And he gave it a nine point three out of ten, which is pretty damn awesome. So uh, that was pretty cool to see. Thanks. Yeah. And then also we were hit up today by another uh, music reviewer guy. Um, I can't think of his name right now. Sorry about sorry about that. But uh, Mike Z actually told him about us, and he came to us on Instagram. I was like, "Hey man, you guys come highly recommended. I'm gonna do a review of like your entire catalog." So can't wait to see that. So, that's cool. Nice. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's <laughs> nice to see the word getting out there. People spreading the word about us. 
Uh, we also broke 4,000. Dude, we've been struggling to hit the 4K mark on TikTok for some reason ever since their algorithm changed. It was just like a struggle to gain new followers. And uh, I went live on TikTok today for about two hours in the morning. And uh, I was like, man, we're so close. And uh, one of one of our fans, her name's Sarah, uh, she was like, oh, I'll get you guys there right now. And I was like, okay, cool. And she literally just starts, I can see her like inviting everybody that she knows on TikTok. And they were all just jumping in and like, hey, we're following. What's up? You know, like I thought that that was cool. And we broke the 4K mark. So that's that's awesome. I can't wait to break the 5K mark and then TikTok get banned. So that's going to be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> the, goal, the goal is to hit 5,000 before it gets banned. Oh, yeah. That's well, the goal. the goal is to hit 10K, right? Yes. You know, what's funny is that enough people have listened to the podcast that in the comment section, people were like, oh, there's just, you know, just 6,000 more and Rob can finally join TikTok. Yeah. Just 6,000 more. Yeah. You'll be on for one day and it'll get banned and that's it. <laughs> Jump on. What's up, mother... Oh, what's well, up, everybody? It's done. It's done. It's gone. Uh, I'll tell you this. If they end up are taking away TikTok, for a good, I will hop on the night before, one hour before the <laughs> What's up, motherfuckers? I told you I'd come on. <laughs> you know, I speaking of TikTok getting canceled, apparently TikTok's just being really petty about it. And they're like, yeah, as soon as you guys ban us, we're just going to start a new app and we're going to transfer every all the users from TikTok to that one. And that's what they I hear plan that to they, do. They already have a name for it, right? Yeah, it's like I think it's called TikTok Real or something like that, or some something. It's something along the lines of TikTok. But they're like, oh, if you ban yeah. TikTok, we'll just create a second branch, and you guys can download that. So this yeah. this is along the lines of what uh, Dummy did with X, you know? And, oh, okay. <laughs> and it's just kind of like, oh, well, we just changed the name. Can't do anything about it. Then at that point, you got rid of that one. That's cool. This is uh, TikTok too. This is the sequel. Yeah, and everybody well, still calls X Twitter. First one, not the sequel. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, how about all the trilogy? Let's get all get all the TikTok. <laughs> we can't collect so all Rob, the TikTok. Rob, being that we were talking about, uh, you were talking about, we were talking about festivals earlier before we started this, and you had a pretty cool idea to talk about. You want to talk about that one? Okay, well, we got Sick New World coming up this weekend in Las Vegas, which is bringing out a lot of uh, metal bands from the past and from the present um, of all likes. Uh, I know Skindred. Nothing from, from the future? <laughs> well, yeah, there's some from the future, but we're not on it. Um, sick New World, right? Yeah, well, it's still the same Sick New World, but, you know. <laughs> um but it just got me to thinking of what would make a good concert or what's a good, well, let's start with concert first, where you, the difference between a concert and a festival. Festival, it's, we're thinking multiple bands and other shit, not just music. And then with the concert, it's more of the focus of what would the three or four, or whatever ideal amount of bands would you consider a good concert? Okay, my question to you is, are we adding ourselves to this or is it just something that we would like to go see with us not being on it? I, Take us out of the equation. I don't know. I mean, you, you're you going to throw show. it in there if you want, but I mean, okay, let, you're going to disappoint Dan, Danny, a lot of Danny people. Said, yeah, Danny said, take us out of the equation. So you go ahead and yeah, go first, like, Rob. We're just, you're, going, you're going to a show. Who do you want to see? Which you know, got, like um, what's 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 a what's the difference for you between like a concert and a festival, and if you could build like a festival, who who would be on that bill? Well, like, you know, who I, would you be your like headliners? Who would be your openers? See, I feel like mine's already happened. Um, you you got to have someone good like uh, Lamb of God, Clutch. Uh, Mastodon, a, and then and then Lamb of God's a Christian band, aren't they? Huh? They're a Christian band, aren't they? Ooh, Lamb of God. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, they're. Uh, I have to. Yeah. I have to do that. Do you know the original band name? Uh, Burn uh, the Priest. I forgot. Yeah, Burn, Burn the Priest. 
Burn the Priest. And they just released the cover album not too long ago as Burn the Priest. Right. Yeah, they were playing Madball covers. Oh, really? They, they were doing a bunch of stuff. They did Ministry. Oh, yeah, there was a lot of good songs that they've done. Um, but going back to it, I, I'm, you know, uh, Rocklahoma. It's a big festival out here every year, uh, just north of where I'm at. Uh, but this year they got uh, Slipknot, Lamb of God, Mastodon, Clutch is playing. So that brings me to like, wow, that's that's a festival I need to go to. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what's yeah. drawing me in. And then you say it goes on for a couple days. So my night would be the third night, which is a Sunday. And that just tells me like I'm going to be partying because that's my Friday getting off work. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like Sunday and you're just like, hell yeah, you're going out there fresh and everyone is going to get beat from the two days prior. And they're just, Ugh. you know what I'm saying? When you're drinking with people that have been drinking for two days or three days before you. Ugh. <laughs> so give me a give me a concert lineup, Rob. Give me a concert lineup. Concert lineup. Uh, let's see. Let's go uh, Clutch, Deftones, uh, Slipknot. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that, that, I, that's a solid lineup. I'd see that. Hell yeah. Yeah. What about you, Danny? Uh, Slipknot, Deftones, Gojira. Nice. Josh? Um, if you're going heavy style, I'm going Gojira, Mastodon, yeah. and probably North Lane. Mm, nice. <clears throat> so if we're going based off stuff that I've been really big into lately, I would want to see like Dayseeker, uh, Bad Omens and Sleep Token. That would be a hell of a lineup to go see. I'm actually going to see Day Seeker next month, but they're playing with Rain City Drive. So I'm excited for that. But yeah, man. And then as far as like festival wives, I, I've never really like, so I went to like the second to last warp tour that happened out here. I believe uh, Day to Remember headlined it. Okay. And uh, it was cool. I had a lot of fun, but, but man, just walking around festivals, just, Overall, fucking sucks to me, dude. I just, it's not fun. I'm like, you gotta, you gotta choose what bands you want to see, and then you gotta, you know, depending on where it's at, you gotta. As soon as this band's done, you're running to the next field just to go check out the other band, and it's a thousand degrees outside, and a bottle of water costs twenty five bucks, and it's just fucking hell, you know. Like I just, I did not have a good time at that. Uh, but you know what the best part is, though. Is you're finding bands that you've never seen. It's all walking distance. Like That's you true. Got, you yeah. got all this great entertainment, and you're just like, oh, I just don't have enough time. That's. Uh, I think I got a good question for you guys. <clears throat> a festival that you guys went to, or a concert where you saw a band you didn't know of that blew you guys away. So for me, it was at that show. It was at uh, it was at the Warp Tour, and I sh I saw Foxy Shazam, Foxy Shazam on the side stage. Okay. And dude, those guys were awesome, man. That that that's amazing. Uh, yeah. Ozfest, what is that? Ninety nine. Okay, dude. If you say Slipknot, it was. <laughs> for, it was. for me, it was Ozfest, Slipknot on the small stage yeah. at nine a.m. Yeah, that's mine right there. No, oh, that's what you guys were gonna say for real. The both of you guys. That's, that's mine right there. Yeah, that's amazing. That, that, that's 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 cool as shit. That it was that that's how you discovered it. It was it was so early. It was stupid early. Danny and I were like, no, I I knew I had already knew about Slipknot before I went and saw them. Like I gathered up a bunch of my friends and I was like, look at this band, let's go. And there was a shit ton of us that went. We all went. We all woke up woke up at like six a.m. to get there at at you know eight o'clock. You know. Did you guys go to the same show? We did, but we didn't know each well, other at this okay, point. Okay, so you were talking about festivals and what, like, one of the things that I like about festivals, and I think we've told this story on here about how I think I was, I was at some, in some two story thing up on a thing at Ozfest or something like that, and Kill Switch is playing, and I'm, I look down in the crowd and I fucking see Big Rob sitting there, <laughs> you know. <laughs> 
So that's one thing I love about festivals is is seeing people I know, seeing people in the industry, seeing other bands. Uh, a lot of times me and my buddy Tim will go to shows and we just, when there's bands on we don't really care about, we'll just walk around and we'll just fuck around with people. You know, we'll people watch, say what's up to people, shoot the shit, you know? So, is, love it. Is the, Tim, is the Tim we're talking about the same Tim I'm thinking about from The Fella Show? <laughs> So and I've told you I told I've told you about Tim pulling up to the Greek theater yeah, and the... handing the VIP parking girl like a Vietnamese faux restaurant like receipt for like his VIP. And she the lady looked at it, laughed her ass off and was like, go ahead and let us park in there. You know what I'm saying? But that's, that's awesome. does shit like that. So it's always fun to go to festivals with my buddy because we just literally walk around and fuck around, meet people, talk shit, hang so out. Tim, you know? So Tim's a really – Tim's a – what happened? Go ahead. I said you go to a local bar, though, with Tim, and they'll get you the fuck out. So <laughs> <laughs> that's going to go big or go home. Like That's not that's not the first time he <laughs> or I have been kicked out of Goodfellas. Dude. It's just funny it's to me, happened. dude, because because I remember you telling me, Danny, for so long that Tim was like one of your buddies that was like, when the fuck are you guys going to play? <laughs> I need to go. I want to see you guys fucking play. And then we get yeah. the, we get to the show, and I'm like, they're like, oh yeah, Tim got kicked out. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, because because he he snuck in a beer and was drinking and got kicked out because that's how he is. He's like, let me see what I could get away with, you know? He'll just he'll just walk backstage at a concert and just walk right by him, and, and awesome. it, like nine times out of ten, it's just like he's like, come on, you're like fucking dudes looking at me bro like fuck what do you mean come on like he's like those dudes yeah. in the videos that are like you know you could walk into anywhere so long as you're holding a ladder and they just walk in with the ladder <laughs> like it's just nobody questions it, it as I, long you know, as you got confidence those... exactly. yeah that's what i'm saying right there he has so much confidence that it just you know yeah yeah so josh give right. us give us a lineup give us a give us a did you give us one sorry yes I gave you a lineup for a concert already. If you're going festival, then I'm probably going hardcore metal festival. And even though I can't see him anymore, I would like to do Black Dahlia. Mm. Yeah. No more Trevor, but still, I would love to see Black Dahlia again. Uh, Kublai Khan. Discovering a band that you didn't know at a festival or a concert. That's, that was the question as well. Okay. Um, so I don't say Slipknot also, because around the time you guys were seeing them at OzFest, I was having my oldest daughter, so I was a dad. I missed that whole year when they came out. So I did see them at the Palace with Cold Chamber before. And oh, I was that at that was... show. Okay, missed you there. <laughs> we took a limit on that show. show. I was at that show. So it was my, a good my, show. Too. Did, it was this. Was it? Was this the show where they literally had the sample the DJ and the sample guy like up in the balconies? Yes, and it was supposed to be Amen, Dope, and then Cold Chamber headline, but Amen dropped off the day of the show. Yep. I was at that one. Yeah, that's so that crazy. Cool show. I, yeah, I and think... then Danny, you and I went to the same uh, Slipknot show over here when they played in when they played over here back in like 2019, right? We went Let to me that. say like this: if 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 you've been to a Slipknot show in Southern California, I was there. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, I so mean, my I, question I, for I all probably, for, my, there's my only question, been a few that I've missed. Yeah, my question for all three of you guys is: when you guys saw them for the first time, was this pre Corey Taylor? What? No, Corey Taylor. Corey Taylor was in it the first yeah. time I heard him. The first time okay. I saw him. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. It was. I always, heard them. Cool. I had a. I had a, a a woman approach me as I was walking out of uh, Rhino Records in Claremont, California. Some some girl approached me and handed me a demo of theirs. It was like, yeah, oh, their album's too. dropping this and that. And so I had that CD and I was showing to my friends the album dropped. I was like, we're going, we're going to Ozfest. We're going at nine a.m. No questions asked. We're seeing this band. Hey guys, uh, I want to talk a little bit about Deadpool three. A trailer dropped for it today. And holy shit, am I fucking excited for this. Uh, you, Rob, start with you. Go. Well, keep, keep going. But no, I'll go no. then. Dude, I, 
am so ex- like so excited for this movie. One, uh, Danny and I were talking about it earlier. I'm so glad that like we're not getting a watered down version of Deadpool from Disney. You know what I mean? That's like, what I was bo- worried about. They're going full on rated R. This villain, I forget her name. I can't think of it right now, but apparently she's like the sister of Professor Xavier in the comics. So, okay. oh. um, um, and then if they're pulling from the old man Logan story from that particular uh, Wolverine that he's talking to in there, where he said uh, in the trailer, they said, you know, he disappointed his whole world. And if they're pulling from that comic and they're pulling the inspiration from that, then we're probably going to see some form of that particular Wolverine in his universe killed off either all of the X-Men or all of the Avengers because he was mind controlled by that woman. So uh, I hope that that's the story they're going to tell because that would be pretty awesome. There's this really great scene in the trailer where uh, the, the the chick's coming out of like a giant Ant-Man helmet mm-hmm. and in the front of them really quickly, you can see there's about five or six villains that are standing out there that are from like all the old X-Men movies. Like you can see Toad and you can see like a few of, of the other ones that are just standing out there that I, I was just like, oh man. This is gonna be awesome, dude! I really? can't wait. All that for that? Yeah, dude. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm not. I didn't know I that. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I thought it was cool, fun. <laughs> uh, I like the. I saw the same part. trailer. Yeah. <laughs> nice. You didn't ask it. He's torn apart already. And I'm like, all right, whatever. Man, I was, I was high when I saw that. <laughs> here's, here's what I saw in this little clip that they showed, and I'm just gonna tear it apart. Just like, ah, oh, dude, just enjoy the movie that somebody else put together for you to watch. Like, just some tears. Oh, you fucking nerd. Fucking <laughs> nerds. Hey, we can watch. Here's a clip. Hey, let's see how much of this movie you can expose without exposing this movie. Like, <laughs> <laughs> fucking nerds. Yeah. Tear it apart. Fucking nerd. Oh, here's what I got, and this is how they better write it because that storyline doesn't make sense. And just like, oh god, here we go. You can ruin a movie before <laughs> I even get to watch it. I'm also just really <laughs> excited that we're getting Wolverine in the like the actual Wolverine costume, which is pretty dope. Uh, so, yeah. Rob, what did you think of the trailer? <laughs> <laughs> are you, Rob? Are you excited? Oh no, he still hasn't put on the mask. I want to see him with that mask on and that that outfit. I don't care about the yellow. I wasn't. I want to see you in that mask. I know that he does. I know that he does wear it in the movie though, because they showed like pictures of it um, when they were filming it. <laughs> At least in some point, put on a fucking Wolverine mask. <laughs> Make all my action <laughs> figures worth something. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> Don't don't be pushing yeah. this character who's constantly trying to wear this mask and just be like, ah, oh, I don't want to wear it. Okay, because this guy doesn't want to fucking wear it. We're not going to even wear the mask. Fuck out of here. So are, are, you, be, hmm? are you big into the Marvel movies? Do you watch all of them that come out? Or? I am, but I'm tired of Fox butchering them, just being like, hey, we paid so much for X actor to play this. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. Cover his fucking face. Be the fucking character that he's supposed to be. <laughs> don't fucking, oh, it's you, Jackman. I don't fucking care. Put your fucking mask on, you asshole. Mask up. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> what about you, Josh? Are you big into the Marvel movies? And did you, what did you think of the trailer? I'm not as enthusiastic as you guys are for, but the trailer looked really good. Like, I have not seen the second Deadpool, so I wanted to watch that before we saw the new one. But the storyline looks cool. Um, I thought that woman looked like a little baby, though. I didn't realize that it's Xavier's sister. Yeah. So that should be interesting. But, like, the way from they had the preview going, it has my attention. I want to watch it. By the way, Deadpool 2 is my favorite Deadpool movie. You got to watch that. That shit's awesome. Danny. Okay. Well, for me, you know, uh, the day that I heard Disney was buying Marvel, the first thing I thought of was, fuck, what are they going to do with Deadpool, you know? And I think uh, seeing what I've seen so far, I don't think we really have that much to worry about. It looks a lot like Deadpool, you know? Yeah. So... Yeah, you know, I think uh, I think it's I think it's going to be cool. I can't wait. You know, uh, 
some of the scenes in there, you know, Wolverine fucking punching him right in the nuts with his <laughs> fucking claws and shit. Like, yeah, that's what's gonna. It's there, you know. Yeah, yeah man, I'm so I'm excited. For it. So, Danny, we got about four minutes left in this podcast. So I'm gonna give you four minutes, bro, to go ahead and uh, rant about Trump because you said you had some stuff to talk about when it came to Trump. <laughs> Oh, oh me. So me? Yeah, dude. Let's let's get into it, man. You you were wondering if we should talk about it or not. I say let's go. If we piss anybody off, we probably didn't want them as fans anyways. So let's fucking go. Let's go. Well, I mean, I mean, how could you piss people off if you're literally like, "Hey, look, this is word for word what this person said," right? Yeah. And, you know, when we're talking about Gettysburg and the Civil War, um yeah, dude, it's it's just literally, dude, you gave a book report on a book you did not fucking read, dude. And it's just, it's just, how can we be, how can we deny that? You know, like, I think even if you're whichever side of the fence you're on, right? Like, you could say, oh, that guy's stupid, or this is stupid. I don't really care. That right there was fucking stupid, uh, you know? Uh, I want to I wanna say this. Marvel and DC, they started getting more popular during the times of the war world war ii so you didn't have to think about what was actually going on is where we were getting shipped off to go fight in these fucking wars but you can think about these uh superheroes and having them and and you get to be a child and actually use your time but a lot of them made like hitler the villain in <laughs> Right. So it's just like, oh, Hitler, he's the bad guy. He's the bad guy. And then you go full circle as you got a modern day Hitler being Trump doing his shit. And you're just like, is he trying to make more Marvel movies for us? Is that what he's trying to do? <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. That was a beautiful time, by the Thanos. way. That was a beautiful like, time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just Yeah. So, I, Danny, I you're talking about. Yeah. You're talking about his Gettysburg's address speech that you were talking about here. Um, did you did was it you that sent me the TikTok or did I send it to you of uh Fox News apparently like accidentally making fun of him, not realizing Yeah. That... So so there's a little bit more to the story. <laughs> and I it. it seems that it seems that some people would agree with my sentiment on it is that so so basically what happened is a school teacher somewhere took and graded it as if it was a student's like book report or whatever, right? I don't so know like good. if they graded grammar or whatever they did, right? So I guess it was the Charlotte GOP got a hold of this and then took and ran some bullshit about like, oh, look what's happening in our democratic ran schools and all this shit like students can't read and they don't know history. And it turns out that it's literally Donald Trump's speech. <laughs> and you just, you know, I mean, you, I get it. You know, some people, anybody out there is going like, oh, Biden can't talk and this and that. Like, okay, great. But like, like, can we talk about that just by itself for one second? Like, this guy's a fucking moron. I mean, holy yeah. shit, dude. Did, I, did you see those I, I went to fifth grade, dude. I went to fifth grade. I know that, that Grant was the fucking general on the Union side and Lee was, you know, the Confederate. And he's up there going like, oh, nobody praises Lee. And it's like, what the fuck? The dude was a Confederate fucking general. According to fuck Trump, you. he was a great man, though, so... <laughs> uh. Great guy. Great you, guy. You, November. Hey, November, you can vote. Okay. You could vote. So Please. go vote. That's all I had to say. Go vote. You know? Have you, have you seen those videos of the, of the girl who's like standing next to this politician who's going to give a speech? And she's like, You're guilty. You're, you're going to be, you're guilty too. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's amazing. And she's like trolling yeah. him the whole time. Yeah. It's, it's so like, good. Uh, you're friends with him. I, I guilty. Think, I, think we, should, going to I think we should be trolling. Every single one of them. Yeah. Done, done about what side of the fence they are. They at this point now it's just like they yeah. I also would just like to say really quick that before you guys get into this comment section and start being like, Oh, you guys are a bunch of Biden supporters, fuck both of them. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. That's where yeah. we that's where we stand. I, fuck I am, both of them. So. Twenty 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 four, I'm hoping for a fucking reset. You know what I'm saying? Like Dude, did you see like, that there's a just, guy there's a guy who legally so changes there's a guy. No. Oh, yeah. That 
That did happen. But there's a guy who legally changed his name. He legally oh, changed his name to anybody else. Anybody else. To like to anybody else. And he's running for president, dude. He's like, he's running hey, for president. What's, what's he's gonna be dude, on the ballot. What's the dude, hey, what's the dude that he's wears exactly the boot dude. on his head? One more time. You guys know who the dude the dude that wears the boot on his head that always runs for fucking president somewhere? He wears a boot on his head? Oh, I've oh never heard God. of that. His name's uh, his name's Vermin Supreme. Dude. Everybody, everybody watching this homework, go look up Vermin Supreme. Okay. And vote okay. for that. You'll guy. thank, I don't know thank me about, in the comments. But vote for that dude. <laughs> it's just when election time comes, just start looking up Vermin Supreme, okay? Vermin, okay. okay. If, if you need if you need a break from the fucking craziness, doesn't matter what side of the political <laughs> spence you're on. You do a, a political show just you should vote for it. <laughs> <laughs> reptilian dude yeah fuck. <laughs> the fucking, dude yeah dude. We do a, we'll do a whole episode on absolutely anybody else you could vote for and one of them's like an alpha draconian and fucking vote for the dude. alpha draconians dude <laughs> <laughs> vote alpha for my draconians, 2024 2024 dude oh yeah well guys yeah <laughs> uh, we've reached that time. You guys, this has been the last days of Warcast. Thank you guys so much for listening in. If you like what you're listening to, please leave a comment. Give us a rating. It all helps the algorithm. Check out our merch in the bio. It's a great way to support the band. Catch you later. Catch you next time. Late.